Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So I actually don't really remember painting this all too much, I think, by the time you guys are seeing this. It's maybe two weeks or so, I think, maybe a week or two um, since I painted this, and I kind of painted this randomly, like for fun. So I really don't have any points to talk about in terms of like what I was doing when painting this. So it's kind of like a look back for myself as well. All I remember is that I had the urge to draw Xinyan today for the session, but I decided to do a few doodles in pen first just to get myself warmed up. So I did the two on the left, and I think the one that's like with the post-it note came out actually very cute. So yeah, but today we are going to be working with gouache. And I personally haven't looked through this footage, so sorry if my narration or ramblings are going to be really off today. But... Yeah, so as usual, I've used my red um, mechanical pencil and then I used a normal mechanical pencil to do the clean sketch. And then here I'm showing you guys my watercolor palette that I kind of need to clean up, um, especially my blue and red sections because they're getting really muddy. The brush I'm using is the Raphael Kalinsky number six round and yeah, I think that's pretty much what I mostly use throughout this video. I am going to be using gouache a little bit later, but then I will talk about that when we actually move on to there. So I like adding a watercolor base just to make sure I get the colors in the correct spot. And for Shinyan, I, I used to draw her a little bit more in my other sketchbook, I think, but I haven't used her as much in Genshin ever since like swapping out my teams and stuff every time people hit friendship level 10 but I, like, Shinyan's like one of those characters I really do adore like a lot she's fun to play and then she helps me a lot in the abyss as one of my hard hitters for dps at least like she does constant damage as long as I have a shield up so it's kind of nice because I like having the consistency and she's just reliable but she's kind of like on my first team she's kind of like my second DPS, I guess, because on my first team, I think I have Zhongli, Yanfei, Xinyan, and then I think I have Barbara, just because I don't need the Pyro Resonance with Bennett, or I won't put a healer on that team, because sometimes I put Venti, because I need to um, have someone do the crowd control. So I think it's usually Zhongli, Yanfei, Xinyan, and Venti, and then my other team, team two, is Kaya... Fischl? Bennett and I think I'm using Kazuha so I think that's the other team I've kind of pushed Barbara out of the picture for now just because like her healing I need to constantly hit people in order to heal a little bit more effectively other than like her her Q but Bennett's a little bit more reliable even if he doesn't um, reheal you like all the way up like he only heals like 75% I believe up to 75% is like the minimum you need to hit but yeah, so I haven't used Xinyan as much. Um, I feel like I use Yanfei a lot more, but like I said, Xinyan is kind of like one of the characters like I really enjoy playing, and like I think she's really cute. So I kind of wanted to draw her a little bit today, and I feel like I'm gonna maybe doodle her a little bit more. I love how like the rocker energy, but she also has like this very almost like domestic, cute side to her. So I I don't know. I just think Xinyan's is really cute. So. I do want to draw her a lot more and I feel like I wasn't exactly planning on painting this one so I was kind of doing a little bit more experimental stuff and I didn't include a lot of the details when I was sketching like in her guitar I didn't make things like proper per se like my sketch with the red mechanical pencil was very rough I just feel like I was trying to make do with what I had and did the cleaner sketch and then I was like why not add color like maybe it'll be fun to paint it so that's what I ended up doing. Um, as usual, I'm using the Himi Jelly Gouache to do the rest of the painting. And kind of like similar how I do my digital, I feel like watercolor is kind of like my rough colors, um, but it's not like to a finished extent compared to my digital, but like gouache is kind of where I do more of the rendering and kind of like the finishing and cleaning up. Um, but yeah, I had a bit of a difficult like time kind of doing the gouache this time. I feel like because I'm just out of practice again, I took probably too long of a break um, with gouache. But I do have another session for the sketchbook doodles, but I think 
I don't know if I'm gonna post it next week. So usually I post sketchbook doodles on Mondays just because it's like close enough. I don't know. I feel like it's just if I put it on Tuesday, then it's too close to Wednesday's post. But if I put it on sad like Sunday, then it's too close to Saturday's post. So I feel like Monday is just a good in between for them. So, but because I post sketchbook doodles on a Monday, I might skip next week. I don't know exactly know what I'm gonna do for the 19th. But all I know is that um, I'm either gonna post another sketchbook doodles video where I already filmed it. I just have to edit it and do the voiceover or I will plan something more special. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Cause um, if I have enough time, maybe I'll do something else and I'll save the other one for next time. But after I did this one of Shinyan, I decided to do more gouache painting just because I realized how rusty I was and I felt bad because I wanted to do Shinyan justice, but I don't think I did. Like the pose and everything just looks a little bit weird as well. I think it's also because I probably drew her head a little bit too big compared to her body. And I feel like that's something I, it's like reoccurring. So I really need to um, plan out proportions a little bit more better before like doing my cleaner sketch. But I did have like a lot of fun painting her regardless. But at some point you'll see, especially when I'm doing the guitar strings, I get like severely lazy. And it just, it just doesn't look right. And I feel like I should have added, actually, let me check. I do have my sketchbook in front of me. Well, I did, I guess I attempted it. I wanted to include a little bit of other colors into her hair because her hair is kind of like a dark brown but I made it a little bit more warmer just because I wanted the overall piece to be a little bit more warmer, but I added a little bit of blue and yellow into her hair as well, which I think helps, but they're too similar in value that it's hard to see. I don't know, there's like there's like a lot of nitpicky things I could, I could poke at, but maybe I shouldn't because like I don't think I'm gonna treat anything in my sketchbook more like a finished piece. Everything else is very much like either experimental, more of a doodling phase of something. Like I've been doing a lot more pen and watercolor doodles recently, and then I return back to pencil, then I do gouache. So I kind of just hop around and see what I like, but I would like to keep up um, being comfortable with gouache because I see how important it is to be able to use gouache in conjunction with watercolor, just because there's some things in watercolor that I can't achieve properly. And I feel like having gouache helps like correct those things because i let's see how can i put this if you guys were at the last live stream i was painting yoi mia from genjin impact obviously and i was painting her in watercolor but she has a lot of like intricate details on her outfit that are have, like have finer lines in a lighter color and i guess if you're like a watercolor purist you could either use like masking fluid or you would just have to very meticulously um, follow the lines and kind of leave those like those places untouched, right? But they're so thin that I don't trust my hand at painting those areas. So I kind of just block it in as one color, as, as like the base color. And then later on, I probably just use gouache, mix up a light enough color and do the detail just because it's a lot easier adding finer details on top rather than doing kind of like the negative space but yeah i feel like i have nothing to talk about when it comes to these i feel like i keep saying that i keep saying i feel like but i am i am tired today um i'm still recovering from um, the second dose i guess so yeah i i feel like everyone in my family is like doing fine they just feel tired for the most part, a little sore. For me, I have more like muscle pains and soreness that's like extremely uncomfortable. And I'm pretty sure I had like a very light fever in the morning because I woke up like almost sweating, but it's already subsided. So it's like nothing too serious. Um, but yeah, so in terms of using gouache, I always try my best to use this one brush just because it has like a sharp tip, but also it's kind of bulkier at the base of it. So it can do more like more bigger areas and thinner areas with the one brush just because I, I feel like I'm just used to with this. Like I'm used to this brush at this point. Initially, I was going to use like really thin brushes. Like I had like double zeros, triple zeros ready lined up to use so I could get finer lines, but using this brush is a lot easier for me because 
the smaller brushes that I do have for like painting or gouache, or, like for watercolor and gouache, these just don't retain much water and I hate going back and forth to reactivate the paint to get like a smooth consistent line. So I like to kind of fill up the paint from the like my palette all the way up until like the base of the brush just because it continuously flows downwards at least for the most part and I just have to reactivate it a little bit with water to keep getting a better consistency for a more clean line art so yeah I don't know I, I'm just like looking at the piece again or the sketch painting thing doodle I don't know what you would call this like I feel like it's too finished to be a sketch but also it's not finished enough to be like a completely like a completed drawing if that makes sense i still like it it's just like a lot of things like i would fix and i don't know like for the most part it's really cute and i just think like shinyan's cute like i've been saying that the entire video like shinyan is very cute so yeah i'm super excited for inazuma though and hopefully i'll be drawing some inazuma characters very soon there's some i would like to hold off on like i probably will draw actually Maybe I won't hold off because mostly I mostly do like bust up um, portraits of them. But if I have ever do more of a waist up or full body for whatever reason, maybe if I'm doing like any chibis or just full body drawings for some reason, I am going to wait until Genshin Impact or not Genshin Impact. Oh, I mean, until they're released or until they're on game fashion archive so I can see stuff more accurately because i would like to learn how to draw their outfits and stuff more accurately instead of taking guesses and then being wrong but yeah i don't think i do the line work for the rest of shinyan i don't think let me take a look kind of kind of not so i don't do too much more to this and i kind of leave it quite unfinished i feel like i was just feeling tired of trying to keep things clean and I just wanted the end result to look nice. And I feel like it's it's kind of like in a weird in-between. It's not super clean to how I would like it to look like. So I feel like I got lazy really fast. But also like I put more effort than I thought I was going to in the beginning. I don't know. I, I need to like clear my brain or something. <laughs> I can't believe like... I don't know. It's, it's nice that a lot of you guys enjoy the Sketchbook Doodle series. But I also like think... Are you guys okay? Because how can you guys listen to me ramble about like nothing for so long? <laughs> I don't know. I appreciate it though. I appreciate that you guys like watching me paint or work in my sketchbook. Because I don't know. It just gives me a little bit more motivation too. Because I kind of sketch on and off. And I feel like having to do a sketchbook doodles video pretty much every Monday if I can. Gives me a little bit of motivation to at least sketch in the sketchbook. Not entirely like to film because if i filmed every page and only did it like once a week i feel like i'll fill the sketchbook way too slow i think this sketchbook has a little bit better of a start compared to my previous sketchbook i feel like i keep saying that how do i i need to rephrase that wording i sketch in the sketchbook more than i did in my previous sketchbook it's just I had a better momentum of and like headspace for sketching like don't think about completing artwork don't care about like mistakes just draw because you enjoy it do some studies or maybe it's because I do mostly fan art stuff that if I run out of things that I want to draw then I just kind of stop drawing in my sketchbook but also 17 came back like fairly recently and we still get a lot of content for them so it kind of like reignited a lot of the things I wanted to sketch out. But here's Shinyan, not really completed. A lot of things that are look botched up, but I still had fun painting her. And hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully my rambling wasn't too annoying. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!